Hello, lovely people. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. It's Hila here, Saturday Night's Teach, and thank you so much for tuning in. Today's post, I am super excited to be doing a collaboration with Modes for You, which is a fabric shop, an online fabric shop that actually posts stuff out internationally. And how this collaboration came to be is just amazing because I got an email through my website because they had seen my website and they wondered if I'd be interested in doing a collaboration as they do with other sewing bloggers. And what's awesome is that I have actually bought from Modes for You several times before in the past. So when they said, would you be interested in the collaboration? I was like, oh yeah, because not only have I bought from them before and I've used their fabrics, I've absolutely loved the service that I got. So I just thought, okay, absolutely, we're going to be doing this because I know that it is a great fabric. So today's video is brought to you by Modes for You, uh, the fabric shop that actually is post out internationally. So I'm going to show you the fabrics that I uh, got uh, from them. So all the links are going to be in the description box down below. Uh, do go check out Modes for You. I promise you won't be disappointed. They stock all different types of fabrics from Liberty to Alexander Henry to um, Cloud9 to cotton and steel to birch fabric. So you are covered whether you like quilting or dressmaking, they have everything there. And they also sell things like stickers and some crafting kits as well. And it's definitely a site that you'll have a lot of fun with. One of the features that I really like about the site, apart from the fact that they've got an extensive range of fabrics, is the fact that when you select a particular fabric, if you scroll further down, it will show you similar type of fabrics. And I really enjoyed that feature because sometimes you look at a fabric and think that mm, there's just something not quite hitting the spot for you. But then you've got the different suggestions for something else that's like, oh, what it was was that I didn't like the background because you're seeing a similar fabric, but it's got the different colored background. So I do really like that feature about the Modes for You shop. So let's get into the fabric because I know you came here for the fabric because we all love fabric. I mean, who doesn't love fabric? It's like a separate um, hobby, I guess is what you can say. Um, it is. Uh, sorry, I do apologize, but the lighting is a little bit on and off because the weather is quite cloudy. So the sun is dipping in and out and I use natural lighting for the videos. But... <sighs> Look at how beautifully packed these were. So I started opening this, but um, I couldn't help it. I wanted to show the brick as well. I love it when fabric comes like this. It's like, yes. Okay, so let's get into the fabric. So I did uh, get a different range of fabric so that you can get an idea of what uh, sort of things they cover there. Um, the postage was super quick and it arrived really, really quickly, which was really, really awesome. But, okay, so we're going to start off with this. This is a Liberty uh, fabric. So they also stock some Liberty prints there as well, which, oh, who doesn't love Liberty? Oh, love Liberty. But I really loved this color and it is a floral and it's like a teal and it's got like this gentle, lovely little poses. It's a tanner lawn, so it's going to be light and crisp. And for this, I'm actually going to make this, this pattern for a sundress that I really, really love. And it is so easy to make and it uses up one meter of fabric. And I wear those sundresses quite a lot, especially in summer. So I'm going to quickly whip this one up before summer is out so that I will be able to wear it because I just love this. Um, so the other thing with uh, the modes for you shop as well is that you can shop for your fabrics by uh, clicking on either florals or fruits or food or animals, which I find really very useful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's the channel lawn. Okay, so this one, I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but look at that. How cute is this? How absolutely adorable is this? So it's cupcakes, cupcakes. Okay, my daughters haven't seen this yet, but I know, I just know that when they see this fabric, they're just gonna want me to make something for them. So this is 100% cotton and it is a Mary Lake Thompson Limited 
for Robert Kaufman. So this is a Robert Kaufman, which is another brand that they stock uh, on Moz for you. But look at that. What I loved about this is the overall pinky feel to it. And it's just such a positive, uplifting fabric. You know, can you imagine walking around with these lovely cupcakes? Um, so yeah, if I can get into sewing this before my girls find it, I would love to make just a lovely little shirt dress out of it. And I would probably be using um, either pink or red for the collar and for the button placket. Oh, I think it would be so cute. Um, and a slightly bouffant um, skirt. Uh, but yeah, I just, I love this fabric. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So this was the Robert Kaufman um, Sweet Tooth. That's what the design is called, a sweet tooth. And I do have a sweet tooth, even if I do say so myself. Okay. Um, and then up here, we've got this uh, for me. It is a cotton, a quilting cotton. So it's also quite narrow. It's a 44 inches wide, which I do always get tripped up on that. So that's something to always remember when you're shopping for fabric, checking how wide it is. Because <laughs> a couple of times I've forgotten to check and have assumed that it's the normal width, but it's actually narrower. But here we have this lovely navy background, popping turquoises, beautiful pinks, floral print, this screams me all the way through. I mean, hello, pink flowers, pink flowers. And this is going to be something for the autumn. So I'm thinking a shirt dress. I'm going to sound like a broken record, aren't I, with the whole shirt dresses things. But yeah, I'm thinking that it would make a really lovely shirt dress. And I would use a dark navy for the um, collar and the, black, uh, the, the button placket. As you can see, I'm... I'm really loving the idea of adding details um, to stuff. So it's a really, really beautiful fabric and the colors are very, very vibrant as well. And yeah, I got two meters of this and I think it's just gonna be lovely. And I think that this would make a beautiful shirt as well. And it would also make a lovely pinafore, pinafore dress or a skirt. I could make a dindle skirt out of this because then I could wear I could wear it with a like a navy top or a pink top or a blue top or a, I, and even a green top because like the green leaves are quite nice. So quite a lot of um, potential for this one. Oh, love it. Love it. OK, so more blues as well. <laughs> Absolutely more blues and quite more dark backgrounds because I'm being quite grown up and I'm already thinking about um, autumn sewing as well. And we have this lovely lovely cornflower blue on a dark navy background and i just i love this my agapanthuses are currently in bloom at the moment and the agapanthuses that i have they've got like this real hang on am i saying that correct what is the plural for agapanthus is it agapanthi because like octopus is octopi agapanthus might be agapanthi agapanthuses <laughs> i don't know either way the multiple of my agapanthus um, is in bloom and it's like this really beautiful blue and it's just inspiring me so much. So when I saw this, I was just like, mm -hmm. yes, please. Yes, please. Just some more blue. So this one is Reverie by uh, Chong Ah Wang for Timeless Treasures. So this is a Timeless Treasures fabric. And I have to admit that this is my first time using Timeless Treasures, but the print is absolutely gorgeous i mean look at that blue look at that it's like a cornflower blue which for me cornflower blue is like one of the best blues ever but yeah um this one i'm thinking a dress with like a sweetheart neckline i think maybe some slightly poofy sleeves i do have a marfi pattern that i think would just be lovely lovely for this um sort of fabric so uh, this Timeless Treasures one is a little bit of a, it's, it's slightly heftier than a, than a, um, I'd say a Tanalon, but it does have a decent amount of drape to it. So this would hold a pleat beautifully, but this is a banging, this is a banging fabric. Love it. Love the cut. Oh, and then this one, I was smitten with this one. I was absolutely smitten with this one. So... Back in the day, I used to read a lot of novels that were set in Montmartre, Paris, about the Impressionists. And my very 
first um, entry into the world of um, art was just a love of Monet and Renoir and all of those impressionist painters. And look at this fabric. It's water lilies. <laughs> And I love it so much. So this is the Claude Monet design for um, by Robert Kaufman. And it's a really beautiful, smooth, uh, smooth surface uh, cotton fabric. So I, I, I love, love this so much because I, and I remember it being like a lifelong, um, uh, I want to say ambition, what is it? Like a dream to ha actually have seen some of these paintings in person when um, we went with my husband who was then my boyfriend and we visited Paris for the first time and went to Musée d'Orsay. Well, it was my first time, it wasn't his first time, but we went to the Musée d'Orsay and I, I spent like the entire afternoon, it was four hours just walking around, seeing all of these things that as a child, I had never ever dreamed I would ever actually see in person, but here I was in Paris seeing these things that were actually painted by these masters. So I love that. And so when I saw this, it instantly brought back all of these memories, all of these wonderful associations that I have with the Impressionist paintings. And so, yeah, so I was like, I love it. And then the colors, the blue is there and there's like the little pinkiness there. I'm honestly in danger of becoming too precious about this particular fabric because I I already love it and it's already got like some really wonderful associations for me. But yeah, here we go. Look at that. Oh, love it. So it's a digital print. So the colors are beautifully, beautifully vibrant. There we go. Oh yeah. I love it. So I'm already, I'm already quite precious about this. I really am. I, I, I'm struggling to think of anything that I think might be good enough for my precious over here. <laughs> All right, moving on. I liked this one because it was very poppy, very quirky, and it reminded me of the 1960s bold graphic designs, but without the colors. So most of the stuff that would have a print like this that reminds me of the 1960s would normally have like the earthier, yellowy, goldy tones of the 1960s. So think about your Ola Keely stuff. But this one was actually pinks and purples and light blues, so very poppy poppy colors and I was just like oh gee no this would be so adorable to work with in terms of making something that uses navy blue as a contrast whether that's like I do the straps in navy blue or I do a collar in navy blue but I just thought that would be so much fun but yeah this one is another Robert Kaufman one and this one is called hello lucky <laughs> so pretty who else likes the way that Robert Kaufman fabrics are named they have such great names but yeah so it's got so the flowers um are designed in such a way that it is actually quite unidirectional so it's not like a directional fabric you'd be able to get away with it um do you know i think i've got a muffy pattern that would work really well so the muffy pattern has got like a, a waist um oh what do you call that where it's um like a band on the waist but for the band on the waist, I could use a navy just to add add some detail. I love adding details to myself. But yeah, so we have this one over here. And then we have a border print, which attracted me purely. No, not quite a border print. Sorry, it's a stripe. Um, it's a stripe print. I know because I couldn't choose. I was a little bit stuck between this one and another one, which was a border print. And I ended up doing any mini my anymore because both were equally beautiful looking on the screen. And I have to say that um, the screen images don't do this fabric justice. But it's like a stripe. But the stripes are interspaced with flowers. Yeah. So this for me, the style, the print reminds me very much of vintage 1970s curtains. I don't know why, but it just does. But what's awesome about it is that it's got like this beautiful popping colors, which you, I, I love these sorts of colors, basically, you know, they just make me feel so happy. Um, but yeah, and it's got like a metallic stripe and, and some little bits of metallicness in one of the bigger stripes here. And it's like a gold um, and it just gives the whole, the whole fabric just an 
extra air of shininess, shimmeriness, which makes it seem almost um, ethereal, almost like it's in a little fairy world because there's so many twinkles. Yeah. And so I think that it's very difficult to capture the beauty of this fabric on an image because of how the gold actually makes the fabric come alive. So it's one of those where it's beautiful on the images, but when you actually see it in real life, it's even more beautiful. But yeah, I really like this. So this one is a Timeless Treasures. And what's this one called? Pat Fleur. Okay, so this one's just called a uh, pattern number fleur, but look at that. So I was thinking that I'd be making a dindle skirt with it, but I actually think that I might be able to do a nice sort of a dress and have this, this big floral bit um, go over my bust and play with this being the upper bit and then using this to make the straps on it. So much fun. I love working with fabrics like this that you've got the opportunity to play around with. What, oh, can you imagine making an A-line skirt where the chevron meets up? I mean, you would require so much more extra fabric in order to be able to do the bias cut, but that would make like an amazing striking um, skirt. But yeah, here we go. That's this one. And then I actually did get some jersey, which surprised me by the time I got it. I was like, wait, I had so many cottons in there. But like the selection on molds for you is amazing. But we have this uh, jersey fabric, which is in a fuchsia pink. And I loved this little half moon uh, prints. They're very quirky because it just looks like it's been stamped with a potato. I remember as a kid, we used to, in art, we used to use... Um, potatoes and we'd cut the shapes in the potatoes and then we'd be using them as like a stamp and it sort of reminded me of that and this is a cotton and steel um Al alexia marcel abeg um and this is called dress shop yeah so this is called dress shop but it is just so cute and it is so adorable here we go look at that <laughs> So this one is going to be, uh, I'm going to draft my own pattern for this. I have, uh, um, it's going to be like a skater scout style dress, except for it's going to be a v-neck, a little bit of ruching on the bust, and it's going to be sleeveless. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be absolutely fun, because I'm trying to do a bit more uh, pattern drafting, but it's got a decent amount of stretch, and when you do stretch it out, you're still seeing quite some of that color but it's more saturated when you let go um of this so it is a cotton with i think this feels like it's two percent spandex yeah this is probably two percent spandex but i've worked with cotton and steel fabrics before and cotton and steel fabrics are banging absolutely banging and with jersey you want something that's going to recover after uh, most of the washes mind you i do use a 30 degree wash so I wouldn't advise using anything hot. In fact, it's probably better to use a cold, a cold wash for that. So, <laughs> so this is uh, what we have uh, with Modes for You. And I would really like to thank Modes for You for reaching out to do this collaboration because I had so much fun with it. And it took me forever to decide which fabrics to actually select from uh, the website because, again, they've got like an extensive range of fabrics. And it is so easy to search for them because of how they've, you know, separated them into animals, florals. And they have this wonderful feature where when you're selecting one, one fabric it will show you similar fabrics um, to that one so absolutely banging I thought that the postage was reasonable and it arrived in a very good amount of time and they post internationally which is also a huge huge bonus most for you have kindly offered a 10% discount um, on their website, which is valid for two months. And so when you do go shop on their website, remember to use the code HILA10 
in the checkout process and you'll get 10% taken off and there is no minimum spend requirement on it. You'll be able to get 10% off over the next two months if you use that code. So thank you so much to Modes for you for sponsoring this video and also for giving us the discount code to use. Now, let me know in the comments box which one was your favorite and which fabric you're also going to be considering checking out. Or if you've got any ideas for what I could make out of these fabrics, do let me know. I will be back soon in another few weeks to show you some of the things that I've made from these fabrics because some of them I'm just going to be cutting into them straight away as soon as I get back from my camping trip in Scotland. And until I see you next time, lovely people, I hope you're taking care of yourselves and happy sewing. Bye. Separately, I just noticed the selvage on here on this, um, on this dress shop, uh, cotton and steel jersey, and it says, Life's too short to sew boring clothes. Isn't that wonderful? Life is too short to sew boring clothes. <laughs> Loved it. I love it when you've got selvages that are so inspiring like that. I really like this. This is their little cards. These are so cute. And I actually bought this fabric here from them. Um, yeah, love it. It looks so good. So good. They do really banging fabrics.